the deputy president. No, before that, this is not the first time a person with divergent opinion has visited Kisumu. That is my opening statement. This is not the first time people with divergent opinions have visited Kisumu. But then, the deputy president has his democratic rights to go to any part of the country, Kisumu included. And he has his democratic rights to associate with anybody. He has that freedom. If he visits Kisumu, he knows his supporters. And his supporters know him. They are free to associate with him. We have no problem with that. Let him bring his goodies. We hear he has goodies to bring. Let those who are interested go and take. And let his associates go for those goodies. We have no problem with that. Tell him. He may get people attending his, uh, his function. He may have a big crowd. Whatever the crowd, the size of the crowd, we have no problem with that. But not all those who are, will attend his function are necessarily his supporters. <coughs> not all of them. And people are free to, want to, shoot, uh, to, to, to listen to him, whatever he has to say. But we would wish to advise people that if you don't have to go to the function, you, are n you don't have to go. If you don't have to go, then please don't go. Why we don't want people going there to create chaos? Some people may go there with the intention of creating chaos in neutral gathering. We advise people not to do that. Because we want Kisumu to be peaceful the way it is, advise the deputy president. He always insults our party leader. He calls him all kinds of names. We would advise, we wish to advise him not to do that. Because that may create unnecessary tension. This is the stronghold of the party leader. Raila Amolo Odinga. If he brings his words here, the insults which he uses against Raila everywhere across the country, that may create tension. We don't want that. So let him refrain from that.